back to Petalburg for gym number five. And the gimmick in this gym is that there, other than the gym leader, there are seven rooms and each room has a different theme or gimmick of sort. So, for example, okay, yeah, the door at the left leads to the speed room and the right accuracy room. That's the kind of gimmicks that you're going to see in this gym. And there is, of course, one trainer per room. And so we're gonna check this out. And okay, we're gonna begin with the accuracy room. There, so there are seven rooms in total. Uh, you got to beat a minimum of three of them to get to the gym, but we're gonna beat all seven since we don't wanna waste valuable experience points. And you know, I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you, but one thing I'd like to see in future generations is that the theme used for gyms would not always be types because full sweeps with a single Pokemon are so easy when you do this. Uh, so what I'd like to see instead is sort of themes like this for gyms instead of, you know, monotype teams all the way. Oh, and a Delcaddy with Shockwave, this is going to hurt. Well, 22 damage. I guess it is a Del Caddy and a level 26 one at that. Big level disadvantage here. But yeah, so that's the kind of thing you can expect in, the, in this gym. And uh, the leader of this gym, we've already met him, he's Norman, and I consider him to be pretty much the toughest trainer in the game. Of course, the, it was even worse in Ruby and Sapphire when he had two slackings instead of just one because the slackings are the biggest problem in this gym. Well, of course, it's the fact that it hits hard. And yeah, I know it's got true end, but still, its stats are absolutely sky high for this point in the game. But don't worry, I'm not going in there without a plan, I've already thought it out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lead with Gardevoir. Why Gardevoir? Because the last thing I want to do is to switch it into slacking and it would end up tracing true in that way and I want to avoid this at all costs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill whatever Norman sends at me with uh, with slacking, uh, not not slacking, guard of war until it sends out slacking, and then I'm going to keep spam spamming psychic until either one of us dies, probably guard of war. And after that, I'm going to try and finish the job with Blaziken and Skarmory and hope that's enough. And the thing about the guard of war versus slacking matchup is that there is one stat that slacking isn't quite as good in the rest as the rest. Well, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore, but yeah, there is one stat that's not as good as the others, and it is special defense. So Gardevoir can try to take advantage of this fact uh, and deal significant damage before it eventually goes down. And the problem is that it's going to go down fairly quickly, because Slacking is in good position to exploit uh, Gardevoir's weaker defense as well. And, oh no, well, it's the confusion room, so I guess it should be expected that I'm going to end up being confused, but thankfully I have just the ticket. Yellow flu! Eat that! Uh-oh, 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 not good, not good, not good, not good! Well, not good, oh, 11? 11 damage. Yeah, I forgot how weak Spinda can be at times. I mean, it's Focus Punch, non-stab, but still freaking Focus Punch, and it still deals only 11 damage? Wow! If you needed any more proof that Spinda is absolute shit, then look no further, because 11 damage from a Focus Punch? Wow! And the, and the level disadvantage is is 8 levels, but it's not 16. We were not evenly matched, but as close as you're gonna get. And as for what I'm going to do after this gym, well, there are a lot of things that are going to open up after this gym. I could go straight to Fortree, but I'm not gonna do that. Well, I'm first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to the Trick House since I'm gonna be using that little shortcut that's just north of uh, Old Ale and to wait, well, yeah, to end up to the Trick House fairly fast. But after the Trick House, I know New Mobile is in the same route and all, but I'm going to keep it 
for last when it comes to my little tour around the world. And what I'm going to do after the trick house, I'm going to head back to Mobile, and then I'm going to make my way to Route 119 as quickly as possible, dodging trainers as I can, so that I can go and grab a Tropius to teach strength to, along with all those other HM that the Sableye already has. And once that's done, once I get, I catch a Tropius, and I'm, and I'm gonna, not gonna show you the search for a Tropius, by the way, because it's... Its, uh, its appearance rate on Route 119 is 9%. It's not as low as Ralph's or Skarmory, but uh, still, I am not going to be taking any chances, and I'm, I'm just going to cut to whenever I do find the Tropius, which is reputedly one of the best HM slaves in the game, so it's no wonder that, that I'm going to be using Tropius. And afterwards, once I get Tropius, I am going to be heading up north towards Fall Arbor to grab items that I need Surf and Strength for, including some items that are in the Fiery Pack. Remember that boulder that I couldn't move the first time I went there? Well, now I'll be able to move it using Tropius' Strength. Ah, Missed, and now it's, it's using Defense Curl for a third time. Now it's going to be really hard dealing any sort of physical damage to it, so I guess I'm going to have to switch to Guard of War to finish it off. I wonder if it's gonna do Defense Curl again. Let's see. Well, yeah, so it was a brilliant move to uh, switch to Guard of War in retrospect. So yeah, I'm going to be moving that boulder so that I can, I can grab whatever is behind it. And after that, I'm going to go to Fall Arbor to give that meteorite to Professor Cosmo. And then I'm going to make my way towards Meteor Falls, if there's any items that I need to pick on the way there. And just south of Meteor Falls is Route 115. There's an area that I've talked about before that is only accessible using a Surf. So I'll be going there, and once I've done that, I'll end up in Rustboro, Petalburg Woods, and from Route 104, which is just next to Petalburg, there's... You remember all those sea routes that I skipped with Mr. Briney's boat? Well, now I'm finally going to be able to do them! So I'm going to be doing just that, and... Well, well, I'm going to be fighting all the trainers in the way. I'm going to do the abandoned ship on Route 108. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you don't remember, you're probably going to remember if you played this game before, when we get there. Else, well, there's a first time for everything, right? And after that, I'll gonna, I'm going to finish the sea routes. And after that, I am going to do New Mobile. And the prize for that is a Thunderbolt TM that I am going to give Reg Ice when, once I catch it. And that's why I bought a Thunderbolt TM in the game corner for Gardevoir, because I knew I was going to get another one which I, which I needed for Reg Ice, which is why I didn't wait until I did New Mobile to give it to Gardevoir. Uh, not to mention the fact that Thunderbolt uh, was already fairly handy so far. It's kind of like, you know, when I gave him Steel Wing to Skarmory, I used it a lot long before the, the level at which it actually learned Steel Wing naturally, which, which was 32. And the name of this room is rather misleading. It's called a one-hit tail room, so it makes you feel like you're going to be facing the likes of Horn Drill and Guillotine and stuff. But, well, of course we're facing a Vigoroth, which is no doubt going to pack Slash, because, as you saw, the guy was talking about critical hits, not one-hit KOs. So call it the critical hit room, or just the critical room. Anything but freaking one-hit KO, because one-hit KO refers to something else. And you know what? I feel like I'm on a roll right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this into a triple program. And in the next video, I am going to throw down with my father at long last. And I already put Scar uh, not Skarmory, Gardevoir is my lead because Skarmory was too injured to continue. So what I'm going to do between this video and the next one, I'm going to heal up. And after that, it's going to be time for what I consider to be the hardest battle in the entire game.